Grace and peace unto you. Welcome. Let's get wiser. Today, we're looking at family and the attack of the enemy on families. Family was designed by God. If we look at laws that are being put in place all around the world, we can see it's a direct attack against the union that God had put in place. We can look at the media and the things that they are trying to normalize in the eyes of our children. That's an attack against the family. Because if they can get to our children then everything that they are trying to normalize will be normalized because they have now changed the mind of a child growing into an adult. The mindset and the culture have to change for us to go back to where God design becomes significant as in a man should leave his mother and his father and cling to his wife. Family is God design. Family holds a profound significance in the fabric of society and the lives of individuals. Let's look into why this divine design is so crucial and impactful. From the very beginning, God established the family unit. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 27 to 28, it reads, So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Here we see that God's intention was for families to multiply and flourish, reflecting His image in unity and love. Families are built on the foundation of love. In the book of Ephesians chapter 5 verse 25 it states Husbands, love your wives even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. We see here 
Husbands are called to love their wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. This sacrificial love forms the core of family relationships, fostering understanding, forgiveness, and support. A loving, caring, and supporting family creates a nurturing environment for growth and development. In Proverbs chapter 2 verse 6, it instructs us the parents to train up the child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Through guidance, discipline, and encouragement, families shape individuals into being responsible, honest, and virtuous members of society. A family unit offers stability, security. As in Psalm chapter 128 verse 3, depicts the blessings of a flourishing family stating thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by the side of thine house thy children like olive plants round about thy table this imagery conveys a sense of rootedness, protection, and abundance within the family circle. Families play a crucial role in shaping the social and moral fabric of society. As families instill values, ethics, and faith that will contribute to a community of integrity, compassion, and mutual respect. In times of joy and adversity, families serve a support system. In Ecclesiastic chapter 4 verse 9 to 10 it emphasizes the strength of unity stating two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. This solidarity within the family fosters resilience and companionship. Passing down faith and spiritual heritage is a cornerstone of family life. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 5 mentions Timothy's sincere faith which was found in his grandmother Lois and his mother Eunice. 
this generational transmission of faith clearly shows us the enduring impact of family in nurturing spiritual foundations. The Bible indeed speaks about the challenges and the struggles that families face, including the efforts of the enemy to tear them apart. The enemy seek to sow seeds of division and strife within families. In Mark chapter 3, verse 24 to 25, Jesus warns, If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house cannot stand. This highlights the destructive nature of internal conflict, which the enemy exploit to weaken family bonds. Satan, described as the father of lies, in the book of John, chapter 8, verse 44. He uses deception to disrupt families. But in the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 25, we are cautioned against falsehood, saying, Therefore, Each of you must put off falsehood and speak truthfully to your neighbor, for we are all members of one body. Honesty and transparency are vital to combating the enemy's deceitful tactics. The enemy aims to destroy trust and unity within the family. Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 to 19 list things the Lord hates including a person who stirs up conflict in the community. Such actions erode trust and lead to discord, playing into the enemy's strategy of breaking down relationships. The enemy tempts individual within families to sin. And sin creates chaos, debt, and hostility that lead into further chaos and strife. In the book of James chapter 1, verse 14 to 15, it explains, But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and entice. Then after desire has conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Vigilance against temptation and reliance on God's strength are essential in resisting the enemy's scheme. 
the word tells us to resist the devil and he will flee. The enemy seeks to distract families from God's intended design of love, unity, and mutual support. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, it warns, Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. By keeping families focused on worldly pursuit and conflicts, the enemy diverts attention from God's purpose for family life. When each one is caught up in their own desires and lust, we become blinded and are being led by the enemy. In Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, it reminds us, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers and against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against spiritual forces of evil in dark places. This underscores the spiritual warfare at play, where the enemy targets families to hinder God's work and disrupt his plan for unity and love. But despite the enemy's effort, there is hope and redemption in God's power and grace. Romans chapter 8 verse 37 to 39 assures us in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Through faith, prayer, and reliance on God's word, families can overcome the enemy's attack and experience restoration and healing. The enemy's tactics to tear families apart include division, deception, destruction of trust, temptation to sin, distraction from God's design, and spiritual warfare. However, with God's strength and guidance, family can withstand these challenges 
and emerge stronger in their faith and unity. God's design for family is not just a biological arrangement, but a divine institution that shapes individuals, communities, and societies through love, guidance, stability, and spiritual legacy, families embody God's purpose for unity, growth, and flourishing. May we cherish and uphold the sanctity of family, recognizing its profound significance in God's plan for humanity. May you and your family live in the abundance of God's blessing, trusting in His perfect timing and seek Him wholeheartedly. Heavenly Father, I lift every family before you. I pray for your strength. I pray for your peace above all. I pray for your guidance and your protection. I pray that you guard the hearts and the minds of our children. Protect them from the plan of the evil man. Protect them from those who come around like wolf in sheep clothing. Heavenly Father, bind our families together in peace, in love, and in harmony. I pray that you'll continue to pour out your blessings upon us as we continue in your word to worship also and to adore you. Help us to come to you as you ask us to, to come boldly to the throne of grace and to cast all our cares upon you because you care for us. Give us the strength to go on. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.